owner and curator of Yoso Boho. Welcome to my channel. If you're a friend coming to hang out, I appreciate you. Thanks for coming to hang out. Tonight, we are going to do some shopping. We were in the Columbus, Ohio area. Um, we actually camped just north of there um, in Delaware at a place called Cross Creek, um, which is by Alum Creek. Um, we have not yet camped at that state park, but I told Earth that that's next on the list when we go down there. If you missed the video from Thursday, we were actually uh, thrifting in that area. I will go ahead and connect it up here and down below if you want to check it out. Um, this shirt came from a Delaware Goodwill, <laughs> so be sure to take a look at that. But we have been down there before. We liked thrifting in this area and just kind of discovering new things in this area. Columbus is a big town. Um, it's the capital of Ohio. Uh, so there's lots to do there. In fact, check out this one thing that we did. We went to a place called Pins Mechanical Co. It is a giant place. It's like bar, food, duck pin bowling if you've never been it's so much fun it's not quite like regular bowling it's different um you can have like three balls a turn and um yeah i kicked earth's butt <laughs> so i'm gonna show you that oh and they also had a bunch of um like the coin operated arcade games but they were all free i think you had to pay for pinball and there were other things like um ping pong and I, I don't even know. This place was huge. It had so many games and it was so much fun. Um, take a look at our experience there. Oh, almost. that I feel about that I had a big lead. you did have a big lead but then what happened what happened no comment <laughs> all right so after we spent some time at pins mechanical co uh we decided to do some thrifting at a goodwill where we had been before to this particular um goodwill in columbus i found some wonderful things there and so i'm gonna take you there and then I'm going to show you after that little trip and everything that we got, um, I'm going to show you a few things that I found at another place that we stopped at that was kind of a discount place. Um, but there was a corner that had some um, older things in it and I found a few things there. And then we ran up on this crazy yard sale. <laughs> it was like two people who I think they do a lot of auctions and maybe this is like a continuous thing because it was just like a yard full of stuff and I had to crawl and like dig around, which I kind of love. <laughs> and uh, I found a few things there. One is a set of um, pottery tumblers, which I love. And one of them is a bucket list item to thrift. So I'm excited to show you that. But let's start at the Goodwill in Columbus and then we'll go from there. All right, let's go shopping. The first thing that I found was this really great vintage four-tier nativity scene um, carousel. So these have um, candles, like little holders that slide in the bottom. You can see obviously this one caught on fire. Um, that was unfortunate. <laughs> um, there were other issues here, but what happens is the heat of the candles rises up and it turns these big fan blades and then the whole thing is supposed to spin. So, other than the burn, um, this is not spinning freely. So, I mean, maybe it could be fixed, but I think it's more than what I can handle. These should spin really easy because when you have the flam fan blades on here, the heat makes them spin, and this one just isn't spinning. So I found 
three of these uh, Department 56 Dickens series. And it looks like they have them $2.99. It looks like they will go $18.20. Um, here's the C.H. Watt residence. And Earth has a church. Then they had a couple things up here. This is a town hall that's um, by Lemax, but it is chippied up. And then they had this one, which is Department 56, but it has a big hole in the bottom. It works? Yep. All right. Department 56 is a great thing to look out for when you're thrifting. Um, some of it's worth more than others. These, if they're in the box, are worth more. Um, I found three that were not in the box, um, but that's okay. I have seen a number of these actually sell out of our shops by the lake, which is where my Aunt Beth and I have a couple of boots. So I know these are going to go over there. I'm probably going to put about $20 on them a piece. And this one actually may be a little less. This one's probably a 16 to 18. Um, the other two, definitely about 20. So let me show you the other two. By the way, this is Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim right there, the little house. It's labeled the Christmas Carol or a Christmas Carol, but in good condition. No big doinks or chips or cracks. Not like the one that you saw in the video. And then Earth had taken this over. This is Nottingham Church. He had taken it over to a plug to make sure that it worked. And in fact, it does. All of them have their lights on the inside, which is great. Because I think when I take them over to the booth, I'll probably have them all lit up on a shelf. And that will bring cool attention to them. And it'll make it feel a little bit more Christmassy. Um, I'm excited about uh, Christmas this year for the booths because we have so many things. It's going to be um, really nicely packed full of uh, Christmas stuff. So that's Nottingham Church. And this one is C.H. Watt, the physician's house. I like that it's uh, like three stories tall. It's pretty cool. So at, you know, 18 to $20 a piece, that's what, 58 to $60. And that's great because I paid $2.99 a piece for them. And this was on one of the carts. I thought this was cute. I'm going to look this up. And oh, this is for a friend. We got to look these up. We can scan these, but I grabbed a little stack of games that we could scan off the cart. And then I'm going to look up these. This is like a mid-century knife set. Brand new in the package. Mm. Steak knives. So we'll look these up, see if they have any value. They've got $2.99 on there too. Looks like they're a fan of $2.99. <laughs> when we first walked in, they had a like train of carts that somebody was putting stuff away um, from. There were also some people that were sitting there and I think they kind of camp out there like part of the day because they were in the area where the carts come out. So they're just kind of waiting for the new stuff. So I didn't have too much hope that there was anything there but I did find a handful of fun things. This is one of them. This is marked the California Clemsons, hand painted. You can see here. It is the cutest little wall pocket with this little ceramic handle. So I imagine you can either maybe put a couple of utensils in there or put some flowers in there. It's just adorable, kind of kitschy. And it says, let's have another cup of coffee. Yes, please. It does have some crazing, it's showing its age, but y'all know I like that. I am going to put this right over on the table for the unlive sale this week. That's right, I'm having one this week. So tomorrow I will be launching 10 items. I'll start them all at very low offers. And um, you know what? Let me share right now what that pile of goodies looks like. Let's take a look.
those will all be available starting tomorrow night. And then I will shut it down on Friday night about 9 p.m. This will be in there and it's super cute. Keep an eye out for that. One of my best friends is a nurse. So as soon as I saw this, I knew who it was going to. I love that it says a snarky adult coloring book and it's pretty hilarious. May your clothes be comfy, your coffee be strong, and your Monday be short. Confucius say, man who asks for fentanyl by name, get Tylenol. Whoa. I'm probably going to package it up um, as part of her birthday gift, maybe with a pack of pencils or something in it, so she can actually color it. <laughs> This was a neat thing to see on that cart. And I'm not sure why none of those people who were sitting there stuck in the carts picked it up because it is a vintage new in box set of steak knives. They are all in here. They are all unused, beautiful, brand new steel. Um, it's called Emperor Steel. And I believe these are made in Japan. I have found sets that are like you know, different knives. I have not found a set of steak knives to do a comp on this, but I'm guessing they're probably worth between 20 and $25. And these will go over to the shop. I think this cool box will catch somebody's attention and they will sell for that $20. Kind of cool when you find something, you know, mid-century with the original box, just fun. And what did you find, a Magnavox? Yeah. Oh, vintage the magnavox. The antenna works. The antenna's good. It's, yeah. Antenna's we don't good. know if the really... if these work though. This is kind of open. It works. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's ready. I put it in tape player mode and the turn. Okay. Works. Okay. Does this look familiar? Anybody? Anybody from the 80s? <laughs> um, this is a little boom box. It's made by Magnavox. It's not as special as some of the older boom boxes that I found or that Earth actually has found in the past. Um, this one sells for somewhere between $20 and $30. And this one is not in the best shape, but we'll see. Maybe I'll send it with Earth to, to his garage because I'm not sure if he has anything like this where he can play music um, in the garage. There's a lot of them listed. There's not a lot sold like this version. Um, maybe is not the like highest end. So, um, but it is cool and it was a good find on his part. Uh, I believe we paid $4.99 for it. And yeah, I think I'm going to send it with him so that he can plug it in and have some tunes when he's working on cars. Wow, that is super heavy. Oh. Cold paint on it. It's old though. I'm gonna see an owl back here. What's this guy? A little music box. He's judgy. Is he not judgy? He's judgy. Oh, I have to put the light back on. These look like they're new. They're so cute. a big wonky piece of pottery. Uh, doesn't look signed. Just another one of those oh, party light. Oh, what's this? I see something tooled. I see something tooled. I got some wear on it. doesn't feel great quality. It's cute, but it doesn't feel like it's got a good quality about it. This is weird. But what I noticed about this is this is like a decoupage base with a little flower and the flower is intact, which is rare, but the top definitely said, okay, that's funky. Better look that up. And it's a vintage anthropology, at least the plate. I don't know if somebody added the base or what, but we're gonna grab it for $3.99. This was a piece that was made for anthropology by an artist. I believe her name is Natalie Leet. 
she's French. She's an artist that does stuff for anthropology. And this is one of her pieces. There are a few of these listed, um, quite a few actually, and they're listed 50, 70 and above. Um, the last one that actually sold, I believe sold for about 40, but I have one that somebody did some creative little thing with. <laughs> so they turned the plate into like a cake plate with this decoupage stand, almost in a kind of like Mackenzie Childs look with the black and white and this little floral embellishment. Now, I haven't been able to find anything like this on eBay or anywhere out there. So I think that this was somebody who bought the plate and then decided to do, um, you know, something creative with it. Don't know how that's gonna impact <laughs> the value of the plate. It may not be worth much because somebody's not gonna want, you know, maybe they want the plate, but they don't want a cake plate made by some other artist. Sometimes things that are glued can be unglued if they are soaked, especially if they're soaked in some sort of solution. Um, so, I have options here. Um, I'll have to see. Maybe I'll just try it on eBay as is and see if somebody recognizes it and says, oh my gosh, that's such a cool idea. Um, hmm, we'll see. Those were the treasures that we found at that Goodwill in Columbus. Uh, the last time we were there, I found some really cool things. So I was excited to go back and the shelves were pretty empty. So not as exciting as the last time we were there, but still I will go back the next time we are in town because it's definitely one of those places that I feel like has a lot of cool things that show up there. All right, so now I wanna show you some things that we found at another place. And this was just like, uh, we're driving down the street and Earth noticed a discount sign. And uh, we just pulled over. Um, if I can find or remember the place, <laughs> I will include that address here so that you can go find it too. It mainly had new things. So it had like maybe overstock or Amazon pallets type stuff. Um, lots of toys, some clothes, some cookware, that kind of stuff. And then they had appliances like in the front. Um, but in one corner in the back, there were just some random older things. <laughs> and I grabbed a few things and I got some really great deals on them. So let me show you those. The first thing I grabbed was this piece. It's a pretty neat handmade um, cabinet for plates. You can stand up some plates or some trays or whatever you need, you can stand them up in there. Um, the back is created with these where you can hang them. And there is a date back here of 62006. So somebody in 2006 made this. Um, it does have an older look and that's what I loved about it. In our booth, we can display a number of things in here. So I think this itself is very sellable, but then we can put maybe trays or plates um, displayed in here. Um, you could also do maybe vinyl, you know, I think an album would fit in there. Lots of different things would fit in there. <laughs> and I think that my mind just went to, um, you know, the display factor of it, but it's a very neat looking piece. And it was only like four or $5. <laughs> so I couldn't leave it there. I think that was a great little deal. Then I found some jars of buttons. One jar was all these kind of darker buttons and one jar was the lighter buttons. And each jar was a dollar a piece. So again, I could not pass these up. Even in Goodwills now, if you find a jar of buttons on the shelves, it's gonna cost you between five and $10. Um, I have not gone through these yet to see if there's anything special in here. But what I love about them is I can reuse them in some other clever ways because I have picked up some other, you know, neat kind of jars, cork top jars and stuff that I have thought, ooh, buttons would be cool in there or buttons and something else as well would be cool in there. So for a dollar a piece, I mean, hello, not gonna pass up these. <laughs> 
Oh, I almost forgot. We also bought an air fryer at this place. <laughs> Our air fryer goes camping with us every single time because it's nice that we don't have to turn on the stove or heat up the whole camper to make dinner. But that means that we haul it back and forth and one time the drawer fell out <laughs> and the handle on the front of the drawer completely broke off. So we've still been using it without the handle, <laughs> but um, they had really, really reasonable prices on, you know, brand new in the box um, air fryers. So we ended up getting a new air fryer. Um, I don't even think we've used it yet. No, we haven't, but it's a neat one and it has like multiple levels in it. So I'm excited about getting that out. We'll have to take that with us the next time I go camping. Let me show you a couple things that I got at this rando yard sale. I think this stuff is, is out there all the time. Like I think it's that neighbor who has like a constant yard sale. This is why some uh, communities require you to get a permit to have a garage sale because people like this will just have like constant yard sales. I'm pretty sure that's the story with this uh, couple. They said that they go to auctions all the time. That's what they told me. Um, but the stuff was displayed like so haphazard. It was in a yard that was not flat. So we were kind of like trying to get around a tree and get around a hill. It was a little crazy and I'm a little crazy. I liked it. I liked that we were like digging through and moving stuff like stuff was stacked and I was like, Ooh, what's in this box, you know, on the bottom, you have to take everything off. And so I found a couple of things and one that I'm really excited about because it's a bucket list item. It is a tumble up and look at this. It's perfect, by the way, there's no chipping and I think it's older. It's got a beautiful optic, look at that. And this little cup fits right on top. So funny that a couple of weeks ago, my aunt and I were out at the Akron uh, Goodwill and she found a tumble up. She found a beautiful one that had a brass base. And I was like, dang, you always find things before I do. I'll connect that up here and down below so you can go see that trip. That was amazing. And it was only just a couple of weeks ago. But we found some fantastic things at that Goodwill. Anyway, here it was maybe a week or two later and I'm rummaging through this yard and I found this and um, I think I paid a dollar for it. I think I paid like $5 total and this one was like a dollar thrown in. And then I got these. There are four of these and they are the neatest pottery tumblers. They are all signed. I think it's Ramlo, R-A-M-L-O-W. But yeah, every single one of them is signed and look at how beautiful they are. So I have a set of four pottery tumblers. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> I love them so much. Do they go back here? Um, maybe, maybe I line them up somewhere. Like I'm not sure, but I love them. I think they are beautiful and they're not dated. So I don't know you know, exactly when they were made, but I'm gonna try and find this artist and see. They do have like a 70s look to them, don't they? And then it was really nice because I picked them up and I was trying to figure out how to hold them. And I set them down in this basket so that I could carry this up to at least pay for them. And he's like, oh no, just keep the basket because you know, you need something to carry these in. So I thought that was really nice because they all fit perfectly in the basket. So that gave me a nice way to take them home. And then I got this pretty little basket, which is also nice and sellable. I think I'll take this over to the shop. It's very nicely constructed and I love this blue in here. So yeah, nice little random yard sale bucket list yard sale. <laughs> and that completes our adventure to Columbus, Ohio. We had a good time. I hope you enjoyed coming along. So don't forget that tomorrow night will be the unlive sale. <laughs> it will go up um, sometime in the evening and it will end on Friday evening. So keep an eye out for that. And then on Thursday, I'm gonna take you to an estate sale where we found some great things. 
and I actually did kind of run the camera in there and then I do a little trunk haul so that's going to be kind of fun as well as a quick trip to the Talmadge Goodwill which happened after my aunt was here and we went through all of those beanie babies <laughs> oh my gosh if you miss the beanie babies I will connect that here and below as well it's a really good video to watch if you've got a whole like bin of Beanie Babies in the Attic that you've been meaning to look up. I kind of give you the lowdown on what is worth um, money when it comes to Beanie Babies. So check it out. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. I really appreciate you. I will see you on Thursday again. So until then, have a really great week. 